Hey guys, good evening to you. Coming live on top of Birth of the Airstream. Up here tonight, uh, getting this fan out. This old nasty, wretched looking thing. Good Lord. It's full of hornet's nest, wasp nest, something like that, bugs and everything else. Uh, but I'm trying to get it out this, at least this front location and the rear location certainly won't happen tonight, especially with that storm blowing in. Um, but I'm trying to get this guy out. Fairly time consuming. I think if you have the correct tools, um, it certainly would <clears throat> obviously make things go a lot smoother. Um, <clears throat> I definitely need to order some plastic razor blades to help with scraping off the uh, caulk uh, that's up here. Mine had silicone on it, which everybody knows. If you know anything about restoring airstreams, you don't ever use silicone. Um, so thankfully, that's been fairly easy to get off, and I'm just using the end of my punch uh, gently to kind of peel it away from the rivets and then popping the rivets a couple times and drilling them out. Uh, and it seems to be starting to break loose, but uh, shoot, there's probably, I don't know, close to 50 rivets in one of these things, I'd have to guess. Uh, but the idea is once I get this front... Uh, fan out and then the very very back one behind the air conditioner there that's got the black cover on it then i can get it underneath my gantry cranes and uh you know install my spline down through the through the uh interior ceiling if you will uh, and hook the chain hoist up and and get this thing up in the air and and start uh, hopefully making some real progress um those of you that have been paying attention that know what's going on with my uh, unit here I've got 10 outriggers that need to be replaced, um, so uh, they're they're in the garage. They're waiting to be put on, and I found a, a welder buddy uh, that's going to come over, and he's kind of mobile guy. He's going to come over and, and weld everything up for me, so that's uh, pretty awesome. And then uh, I'll be treating the frame with uh, Pour 15 and, and uh, you know, starting the rebuild, and that's pretty, pretty darn exciting. Um, so just trying to get out here when I can, you know, every couple days you know 30 minutes or an hour at a time i don't like to come out and just tinker for 10 or 15 minutes because it takes me longer to get ready and get my tools out than, than it does you know than the amount of work i'm putting in so I, I like to at least dedicate an hour out here or more if if i can so uh just providing you with an update i haven't given you all one in a while outside of the gantry frame build but uh we're moving along we're moving along so appreciate you watching hope uh you and your families are staying safe don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you guys are digging what you're seeing. And, you know, hopefully in the, in the next few months I can get get moving on this thing uh, at a little bit better, uh, more frequent pace. We do have baby number two on the way. Uh, we'll be here in about a month, so that's absolutely going to slow things down for me. Um, but I'm still hopeful to be able to get out here a little more consistently than I have been. So, uh, anyway, enough of the rambling. Have a great evening. Thanks for watching.